let's get set up and record. Hi everyone, I'm Madam Soul Food. Today I will be making a lobster stuffed cheeseburger. That's what I'm going to be making today. I will be making my cheeseburger in black truffle oil, black pepper, Spice King's Gourmet All-Purpose Seasoning, the uh, Badia Parsley and Garlic Seasoning, and um, for my toppings, I'll be using a beefsteak tomato, red onions, and Cracker Barrel's Marble Sharp Cheddar Cheese, and I also will be adding some garlic to my oil that I use to fry my burgers in. So let's get started. First I'm going to get my lobsters out of the bag and then I'm going to cook my gourmet blended um, mushrooms. They're bay, Baby Bella, Shatake, and Oyster. So I'm gonna put these in a pan and I'm going to just put them on simmer and let them cook down a little with this red onion. I'm gonna add a little vinegar and a little sugar to it and some red wine vinegar as well. I'm using my black Ginsu knife. It's nice and sharp. Cutting my onions nice and thin, nice thin discs, pretty thin as you can see, pretty thin. I'll be placing them into a pan. It's a small pan, but it'll do the job. So let me just put them all in here real quick. gonna try Facebook live soon instead of always doing uh, pre-recorded I'm gonna try Facebook live probably in about two weeks two to three weeks on my um, burger. Just gonna keep a few, not too many. Just a few to the side. I'm gonna place the rest inside my pan. to do is add my gourmet blend of mushrooms. So I'm not going to rinse them off because they're going to make them too wet and then they're going to be kind of mushy. So I'm just going to dump them in here. They look fairly clean. I'm going to add them to my pan. some curry gold butter to them. tablespoon of sugar. Here's my mixture. This is 
tablespoons of purple sweet potato. I'm gonna keep the skin on. That's usually where all the vitamins are in a potato. It's in the skin. That's where all the vitamin C or whatever benefits there are to it. It's gotta be in the skin. So we're gonna keep it on. resemble a uh, beet a little. Which is a um, russet. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Hmm. I think I'm going to cut them one more time in halves. I'm going to cut them in halves and I'm going to make home fries with them. That's what I'm going to do with this purple potato. I'm going to make purple potato home fries. going to look like. It's going to look nice. See how nice the onions look? Here are my mushrooms. I don't want my mushrooms to get too weakened, so I'm going to simmer them a little bit. And here we go. It's nice, sweet, and tangy. Isn't that delicious looking? Okay. I'm going to place these in a bowl. I cook them on high, then once they start to brown a little, I add a little water as I go, just to create a steam. I simmer them and I cover them for about 20 minutes, and then I bring the temperature back up again to cook some of the water out of it, and then they're pretty much done. Okay, I'm gonna be making two burgers. I have a total of four. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with these burgers. Shell my lobster tails. I'm going to um, steam my lobster tails in a pot just a little, and then I'm going to make them like uh, a light, a light scampi, not too greasy or anything like that, but a nice light scampi lobster tail. Smash it a little. Just smash it a little. Just a little. I don't want to go 
little crazy with it and then it kind of overpowers the truffle oil so I just crushed them to the teeny bit. So now this is what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let these burgers sit. I'm going to sprinkle my seasoning on the burgers and then I'm going to let them sit so they can marinate a little bit in my seasoning. As they're marinating, I'm going to cook my lobster tails. I'm using about a half a teaspoon of seasoning on each side of my burgers. So I'm going to flip them over. Flip them over. Just flip them over. Just like that. Same thing. A half a teaspoon of each on each side. You can use any seasoning you want. You can use a, a onion salt and pepper, garlic salt and pepper, um, a grill mix, steak seasoning if you like that. You can use pretty much whatever you want. Now anything that um, pairs with uh, ground beef is great. So I'll be transferring my uh, mushrooms and onions in a pot. Lobster tails are, they can be pretty sharp. So you gotta be careful. Let me pull the shell off of this thing, the flash in. These things hurt. Oh my goodness. Woo! That hurt. I'm not bleeding, but it hurt. Sheesh. I'm cutting underneath. I can't take it. I'm a baby with pain. So you can cut it. If you're a baby too, cut cut the other side too. Make your life easy. No need for pain. That's just totally insane. Okay. And I'm a diabetic too, so my skin is so tender. I don't take much to cut me. Oh my goodness. doing this let me put these purple potatoes on the stove let me get these popping potatoes up or de-shelling them or whatever <sighs> y'all know what I'm saying de-shelling okay find brioche buns so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take sesame seed buns I'm gonna brush them with butter I'm gonna lightly toast them and they're gonna look just as beautiful as a brioche bun and I'll show you how I do it it's not hard to do you just don't want to um, toast the bread too hard or so it'll be kind of crunchy so I'll show you how I do it season them with some table blend Mrs. Dash and some Old Bay. Very little bit of Old Bay. Okay. I'm going to finish cutting up, I'm cut up my last stuff. I'm going to put it in a food blender, but I'm not sure how it's going to come out if I do that because they're already previously frozen. So I'm just going to cut them with my little paring knife, a little knife. These are made by Farberware. They cook, they cut pretty good with the whole set. But I really like the Ginsu better. That's like a no fuss type of knife. It gets straight to the point. So I want big pieces. I don't want like little teeny tiny pieces of lobster in my burger. I don't know why my voice just did that. I'm sorry. <clears throat> It goes up and down a lot. Okay. I 
have a thyroid condition, so sometimes it's low, sometimes I sound like Mickey Mouse, sometimes I sound normal. Yeah. Okay. And sometimes no sound comes out at all when it's cold outside. I'm not going to put all of them in. I'm just going to put in what I need for my burgers. The rest I'll just make a lobster salad with. I want my burger to be more cheesy than lobster filled. The lobster is just supposed to complement the burger with a nice flavored meatier taste. So I don't want to go too crazy with it. But I put in a lot. It's enough. Okay. Here's my lobster. The aroma is beautiful. You can smell the truffles in the oil. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I have to talk up a little because my air conditioner is kicked in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a hole inside of two of the burgers. Once the lobster is done, I'm going to place the lobster and the cheeses inside the hole. And then I'm going to create another hole up here and place it on top. That's going to keep it from shrinking, but also it's going to keep the uh, ingredients inside the burger without them kind of overspilling out. And then I'm just going to pinch around the sides and kind of give it a good flat mush, a little mush around, around the bump right there. So I guess I can start shredding my cheese. That's what I'll do. I have a nice little... Clothes nice and clean. I don't know if I can eat the rind, so I'm going to take the rind off. I'm just going to skin some of the rind off, just, just for the amount that I'm going to use. Take that little bit of rind off. Uh, I think I'm going to shred it. Yeah, that's probably the better way to do it, is just to shred it. This is the maple and bacon cheddar. So one burger I'm going to make maple and bacon, and then the second burger I'm going to do the steakhouse onion flavor. I'm not going to put too much of the maple bacon because I don't want it to uh, be too much bite to it. I still have to add the uh, marbled sharp cheddar on the top once the burger is cooked. Start working my fingers in there. Just with the thumb, you just press down until you create a cavity inside the burger. See? See, that's the cavity. See the cavity? I don't know if you can see it that well. That's the cavity.
You can make a cavity as wide as you want it without breaking the meat. Okay. So now I'm just waiting for my lobsters. It should be done in about a minute. It's shaky. Loose. You want to loose to the touch. You can add as much lobster as you want. Add as little as you want. Oh, let me taste that. Mmm, delicious. Oh, yes. Mmm, mmm. I'm going to make my other hole or cavity inside my second burger. For my cheese. I'm just going to dump the cheese inside the cavity. Now, I'm not going to be able to tell which one is which, <laughs> so I have to remember right side. So I'm going to put my cheeses on the table in the proper order. So the right side burger is going to be the maple. The left side burger is going to be the steakhouse onion. Now, I'm going to pick up this. Oh, shoot. That's a lot of weight right there. So I'm just going to place it on top. Right? I'm going to turn it over, okay, and now I'm just going to pinch the sides to make sure that my burger doesn't open. Oh, yes. Woohoo! This is a big burger, guys. This is going to be a big, big burger. I can't wait to try it. So this is the lobster side. So I think what I want to do is make sure that my lobster side is good. I'm going to fry it. I don't want to do too much. I don't want to add too much lobster. I might try to break through the meat. Oh, this looks so good. Look, guys. That's what it's going to look like. Isn't that beautiful? Just press the edges out. So it doesn't force it to break in the middle. Yes. This is a burger for real. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. So I'm on to my second one. To the steakhouse. I think I should use my thumb. It's a little hard. My thumb. Uh, get the process going here. I shouldn't rush the process, but I'm so hungry. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. I'm going to be frying my burgers in a stovetop grill. I'm just going to put this in here, make sure they're dry. If they're wet, they might break through. I don't want that to happen. Just a little bit of lobster. Not too much. Okay, I'll use the rest for my salad. Mm. Yeah, so good. Delicious. <laughs> That's really good. I'm going to put my two garlic cloves on my grill. I'm going to mix my truffle. Oh, there it is. All right, so we're going to do that. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to place my steakhouse onion here. So I know which side has the steak onion. And which side doesn't. Mm, that's good. So I'm going to place it into the hole of my other burger. Right. And then I'm going to put the last, no, it's 
too heavy. I gotta do this one first. Bam. Just like that. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna have to put it in my hand just to get a good squeeze on it. Y'all, this is gonna be the best burgers ever. Some cheese on it. Okay, so one cheddar at the bottom. Cheddar at the bottom. It's a Kobe. Arugula. Steakhouse on you. Ooh, looks delicious. This is the maple and bacon. This is the maple and bacon. Look how delicious that looks.
Okay. And then, what do we need? We need, oh, our purple sweet potatoes. Oh, I almost forgot my, um, peppers and mushrooms. Okay. So here's my onions and mushrooms. We're going to place it on top. Oh, look at that. Delicious. Oh, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And the more you add, the more punch of flavor you'll have on your burger. I'm going to pile it on. Yes. They just look purple, but they have a pack of flavor. And they're tender. They're nice and tender. Some people like chips with their burgers. Some people like potatoes. Mm. So here you have it. These are our loaded burgers with steak onion cheddar cheese, maple and bacon cheddar cheese with some purple home fries and chips. Oh yes. I'm going to turn this around so you all can see it. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh. And here's the other one. Ooh, this is the sweet onion. Maybe I could pick it up without dropping it. This is the sweet onion. Cheddar. And this is the bacon. Ooh. That's the sweet bacon. And it's got the onions and the mushrooms on top. Okay. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I also like to give a shout out to Carter Eats. Hi. Please go check out her channel. She's doing wonderful things over there. And until the next time, please stay safe. Try to think positive because things could be a whole lot worse. See you.